Hello everybody, how are you? Hope you had a great Christmas. I hope you got lots of great stuff and had some good times. I personally had a, a good time. I had drunk copious amounts of whiskey and spent time with my family, with uh, Rachel's family. Um, got a few good things. Got myself a 190 hoodie because I'm a big 190 fan. If you all know me, you'll know that. It needs a wash already. I need to put it in the wash. Um, I also got... <coughs> A mare's leg. It's just a replica, but it's really cool. I love the noise. Hey you! Get off my land! Anyway. Even. Right, anyway. <clears throat> One of the things I wanted to show you, because I asked you guys on a previous video, uh, if you would be interested in occasionally seeing a sort of spin-off video that isn't RC related, just hobby related. Um, and most of you said, yeah, absolutely, as long as the channel is still RC channel and, you know, it's RC based and the vast majority of stuff is still RC related, that'd be fine. But dabbling in other hobbies is, you know, it's interesting and you get to see what else is out there. So one thing I want to show you is this. This is a U-Gears kit. U gears and um, this is called the model U9 Grand Prix car. What do I can see? I never come across U gears before. I bought this because I thought, oh, that's fantastic. I saw one built. It hadn't been built very well. It was a bit sort of sagging a little bit, but I thought, oh, that's brilliant. Uh, it looks amazing, fun, and uh, great gift. And it, it's got quite a lot of presents sitting there. So I thought I'll get that, but I didn't know who to give it to. I mean, I've basically done all my shopping and Christmas passed and I was like, what am I going to do with this thing? I don't really have room for it once it's built, if I'm honest. But I decided I'd crack on with building it because I was curious about it. It does look good. So I just wanted to show you guys it because it is quite similar in a way of building a, a, a really complicated RC kit. It's just a different different thing. Um, but it requires the same sort of skills and understanding. And I think anybody who likes building RC kits will also enjoy doing this sort of thing. So I thought I'd show you. And basically... In the box, I've taken a few things out already. I mean, it comes with elastic bands and uh, uh, a piece of sandpaper to sand stuff down. I think this is wax, but I've not used it. Um, it's they're all all the U gear stuff are moving. I don't mean radio controlled. They don't move around around the, around the room, but all the moving parts in a car, like the pistons and the cogs and the workings, work on this as well. And the elastic bands act as things like the drive belts and stuff. And um, you actually. You can see it functioning, it works, it moves, you move it and it, it all moves together, it's quite good. There's a lot of chopping, and you've got these sort of toothpick, look at it, I'll show you. Toothpick things in the bag, and then you've got to chop them down and things. And unfortunately, I slid. I've been using this knife, Callum got me that knife. Thanks, Callum, for my, for like the five millionth year in a row, Callum gets me a knife for Christmas. He always gets me a knife for Christmas. I think he's trying to get me every knife in the world, but um, I got, he got me this. And I sharpened it to do this, and I slipped, and I don't know if you can see my thumb. Just under the nail, no? No? I don't know, but anyway, I slipped and sliced the top of my thumb. That was lovely. Um, it was still bleeding this morning, even when I put pressure on it. That was yesterday I did it, so... Anyway. Basically, in the kit, you get these boards of wood. It's like plywood or something. And uh, you, you pop out the parts, like you would on a parts tree in an RC car. And there's quite a lot of it, you see. Quite a lot of these things. They're all quite well cut out and, and lots of nice fine details on it and things. It's a very slow process. It takes a, a, a good while, but I know people enjoy that sort of thing. For example, over last night and this morning, I assembled most of the engine. It's great, actually. If you look at this engine, this probably is about three hours work. So really, or maybe two, two and a half hours work. So it gives you an idea of how long this will take you. But... If you look here, it has uh, the crankshaft here running the pistons and it also has a camshaft above it. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but you can see there is a camshaft in there. This is the cam, this is the crankshaft. The camshaft genuinely, genuinely, you turn it, it genuinely works the valves. See the valves working there up and down? 
and then the crankshaft genuinely works the, the, cylinder, the pistons and the cylinders. And then um, it's you know it's a, it's a, a single cam V8, so it's got eight uh, sorry sixteen valves, eight per side, and four pistons per side. And eventually this will all be connected up. So as I'm turning the, I don't know if it's as I turn the wheels or whatever I turn, um, but as I'm turning this, it should also operate the cam. And, and it's you know I, I think I love the D. Look, I mean it's a proper crankshaft. You can see the, the shape of it. Sorry, there you go. You see the shape of it. It's like a real one. The firing order is correct. This is a correct firing order for a V8 of this type. Look. Same with the valves. The camshaft is, oh, you can't see it because it's all blocked off now, but it, it was the right shape too. So it's quite, I mean, I like the detail on it. There's, there's some great stuff. There's a, there's a truck that looks really cool. There's a few trucks actually, a big lorry thing. Steam engines, there's two steam engines. I saw the steam engines and I was flipped out. I really, because I was at a Christmas market. I'd already bought this elsewhere in a shop. And then there was a Christmas market we went to with Rachel, Jackie, Matthew, and one of Matthew's friends. And there was a stall there with all of these wooden things built up. And it wasn't the entire range, but there was probably a dozen or two, maybe a dozen and a half built. And there was a steam engine. The steam engine was awesome. It had all the, all the pistons and the firebox, and it was cool. But quite expensive. This kit is around about £40, £43 you'd pay. Um, which, to be honest, isn't bad for the amount of workmanship in, in it. I mean, there's a lot, there's lots and lots of stuff in it. And it's a lot of building, and there's a lot of detail, and let's be honest, if... The reason that computer games are so cheap is that they sell in, well, I'll say well, relatively cheap, is that they sell in the millions, despite the fact that there's thousands and thousands and thousands of work hours put into them. This also has hundreds of work hours put into it, but they sell a very re relatively low amount, which is why for what you get, you pay a little bit more. That's how it works. That's how the RC industry, RC cars are more expensive than they maybe would be, or they definitely would be if they were as popular as the computer game industry, but it'll never happen. But anyway, so you, you are paying a reasonable amount, but you're getting something really nice. It's really, really nice. It's rewarding to build. It's challenging. It's enjoyable. It's slow paced. Like I say, this is two and a half, maybe hours of work in there. Um, you have to put together, like these, these, these engine blocks here, the blocks that you're looking at, are actually three pieces put together. There's no glue. You don't get glue. This is a, you assemble these without glue. It's just a push fit. You get basically get the uh, the cocktail stick things, you push them through, and you shave off the ends so that they, so that they're flush and you don't see them anymore. Uh, which is how I think it was how I sliced my thumb, something something like that. Anyway, um, yeah, I just thought I'd show you that. U Gears. I wonder if there's a website here. U Gears Mechanical Models. They have a YouTube channel. You scan it with your phone, which I haven't done. And that'll take you to it. I wonder if there's something here I can show you. Ugearsmodels.com. Ugearsmodels.com. I suggest you check it out if you're into this sort of thing. And I assume you will be because of the sort of people who watch this RC channel are into kits and things like that, hobbies. And um, it's another little thing. You look here. There's the car built. That's what it looks like. It's actually quite big. And then you get this little truck thing here. Little oil truck or something. Looks like it looks like maybe a fire truck, is it? They call it a tanker, so it's an oil, an oil truck. Uh, just a generic truck pickup thing. Tractor's nice, see the tractor. And this is what? A hurdy gurdy! Little old fashioned Scottish in instrument. A hurdy gurdy. I think they're Scottish, I'm sure they are. Hurdy gurdies. The thing with the. I think so. Anyway, I might be wrong. But anyway, yes. Alright, I was in the editing process and realised that I forgot to show you guys the instructions. So, because it's quite important, I'll just add this on, I'll splice it in. And everything will be good. Now I'll try and get my shadow out. The stupid camera. Here we go. Sort of. Ah. Right. So the instructions are really nice. And um, just to show you guys, this is just all the you know warnings. Don't slice your thumb open like an idiot. Sort of stuff. There you go. Very very well drawn out. Very well printed. Detailed. Very easy to follow. Um. There's no language because it's obviously multi-language. So there's no. Um. You know written instructions it's all just pictures but it shows you where it comes from on the uh, the board it's got the part number next to it so that's number nine that's number ten and for example here when you're assembling the crank and the pistons you had number ten number eleven you can see that you attach it to number ten to make a complete thing and it tells you that and then it'll obviously say um, how many to make it I think it says it at some point but anyway, you end up with 
that and then it just says like duplicate it over and over again and um, so it's very simple to follow lovely instructions really nice instructions and um, really are a work of art so yeah guys this is a decent decent little sort of alternate alternative to building an rce kit so yeah check it out but anyway back to the video so cut splice whatever it is cut yeah that you gears check them out i think you'll enjoy it i genuinely think you'll enjoy it this is the sort of thing that you sort of everybody in this sort of category all of us weirdos who enjoy at you know adult age building rc cars and stuff we enjoy this sort of stuff i'm sure you will as well so i right, go on to ugears.com ugearsmodels.com and have a look i think you'll find something that you'll enjoy and they do vary in price they're, they're quite they, they, they do start around about 40 pounds or maybe some of the cheaper ones might be about 30 or 35 pounds uh they go upwards too i mean the steam engine was 67 i think roughly like that but it was it was a i mean the steam engine was probably this size it was really lovely and um you know for a hobby let's be honest hobbies are expensive so um worth doing i think worth doing um i, I will show on the channel i don't know if i'll show stages i won't show filming while i'm building it because it's very slow very meticulous um but I might show stages or I might just show you guys at the end. But certainly I will show you the, the finished product regardless and see what you guys think. But anyway, that's all I want to say, talk about today. This will probably be the only video I'm doing between, uh, well it will be because I'm going to, towards Rachel's tomorrow for Hogmanay. So um, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you all. We'll see you in 2019. Take care of yourselves. Catch you there.